Hey there, kids. Do you like advertisements? How's about seeing advertisements in your apps and on social media? How's about seeing ads in your file explorer? Well, if you're using Windows, you better learn to like it because that's what you're going to be getting very soon. It was recently discovered that a new build of the file explorer, you know, good old explorer.exe in Windows is serving ads. We have this tweet here from uh, Florian, who I think is some kind of a Microsoft insider, basically part of a group of people that gets to try out some of the new features in uh, Windows before they get launched to the public. And he gave us a screenshot of his file explorer with an ad right there at the top, right below the little uh, bar where you would put in your file path, saying, write with confidence across documents, email, in the web with advanced writing suggestions from Microsoft Editor. So yeah, obviously this is a really crappy feature that Microsoft is trying to cram into Windows. Nobody in their right mind wants to see ads in their file explorer. But you know, I'm honestly not even that surprised. This is Microsoft that we're talking about, and they've been putting more and more ads into their operating system for years now. Since the launch of Windows 10, the start menu has had ads in it, okay? Everyone who's on Windows has seen an ad for Candy Crush before, full stop. And shortly after that, Microsoft started putting ads on the lock screen as well. And you know, I really think that this is just Microsoft's new profit model. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't listen to their investors meetings and I certainly don't listen to their executive meetings. I'm not invested in Microsoft in any way. So I don't have any more insight into something like this than you do. This is just what my gut is telling me. But since the launch of Windows 10, Windows, became something that is just free to download, okay? It's not like, let me tell you, back in my day, if you wanted to get Windows for free, you had to go to some sketchy torrent site to download it, and then you had to run some kind of EXE to crack it and then activate it, and you basically had to decide, would you rather give money to Microsoft or would you rather potentially get hacked by Russians or install a Russian rootkit with your operating system and not have to pay any money for it. Well, you know, until ransomware goes and locks down your computer. But anyway, now these days you kids have it easy. You can just go right on to Microsoft.com and you can get a copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11 for free. Now, of course, you do still have to purchase it if you want to do some things like change the wallpaper or remove the activate Windows 10 watermark. Uh, and also in Windows 11, they added that new little bit of DRM where they would force you to use this really stupid, like centered start bar thing. And the only way you could move it over to the left where it belongs is if you activate Windows. But besides those annoying things, the free copy, or at least the free as in price copy, of Microsoft Windows is functional enough for you to get your work done. So my guess is over the past few years, Microsoft has just been switching to advertisements for its profit model instead of trying to get people to pay for its ISOs, which I think is a great model for websites, but horrible for an operating system. And you know, I couldn't help but notice that the screenshot from this guy's a uh, Twitter account that he made of his file manager is advertising the Microsoft editor, which I actually think is uh, more of a writing assistant. At first I thought it was a text editor, but it, it seems like it's sort of like uh, some kind of a grammarly thing that's supposed to help you with, well, grammar and spelling and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, I can't help but notice that it's advertising a program for creating documents and this particular ad showed up when he's in the documents folder. So I can't help but think that this is some kind of weird targeted advertising that Microsoft is getting into. Would they be recommending some kind of a Photoshop app to me if I'm in the pictures folder or maybe some kind of audio editing program if I'm in the music folder? Stuff like this 
is what I find really creepy because if it works the way that I think it works, then Microsoft is literally watching your every move in their operating system. And it's not open source. Okay, so there's no way to really validate this. I mean, maybe some person from Microsoft can be like, oh no, we totally wouldn't do that, that's silly. But they're not going to share the source code with me to prove it. So I have to assume that Microsoft is just able to see every single move that I make on my operating system if I'm using Windows, or at least in the file manager, which honestly that alone, just being able to see what files somebody downloads, modifies, and opens, and then when they download, modify, or open them is pretty much all you need to gather a lot of information about their computer habits. Now, Microsoft's official position on this is that it wasn't meant to be pushed out to the public, that this is something that was just meant to be tested internally. And it does look like they actually pulled back the feature because I tried firing up a Windows 11 virtual machine, and yes, yes, I know, I'm going to have to ask Stallman for forgiveness, but I fired it up just so I could try to see for myself, and also partially because the screenshots from The Verge and this guy on Twitter showing the advertising in the file manager kind of suck. Uh, but yeah, I tried to, well, I, first I downloaded uh, this ISO from a sketchy Russian torrent site because these uh, insider builds, you can't really get them officially from Microsoft, or at least I wasn't able to find it. So yeah, I downloaded a sketchy Russian ISO, I installed and updated it, I sent all my personal data to both Microsoft and the Kremlin, and yeah, there were no ads in my file explorer, but then again, Microsoft didn't backtrack that hard on this whole thing, okay? When The Verge asked them about the ads in the File Explorer, they just said, hey, this is something that wasn't meant to be public yet. They didn't say, oh yeah, you're right. Ads in the File Manager. I think that's a little bit crazy. I mean, how much money do we really need to make? Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't do that. That's dystopian. So <laughs> it's pretty clear that uh, file management, which is one of the most basic fundamental tasks that literally everyone who uses a computer does, is better on operating systems like GNU Linux, because as far as I'm aware, none of them have advertisements. And it was also true that this was better before Microsoft even started putting ads in the File Explorer, because, I mean, for one, if we were to look at something like a dedicated file management device, like network attached storage, these devices are almost always running software that's based on GNU Linux. I think you'd have to be a little bit out of your mind to use a Windows-based uh, NAS. And I mean, come on, Windows, it doesn't even have tabs in the File Explorer yet. I mean, imagine being a trillion dollar company producing operating systems in 2022 and you don't have tabs, okay? Look at this. This is the XFCE file manager, okay? Look at that. That's a new tab. I'm, I can go into my home folder. I can create another tab, and then I can go into my videos folder. I could just create unlimited tabs and go into anywhere that I want. It doesn't matter. And this has been a feature on Linux for years now, possibly for decades, because I know at least since I've been using GNU Linux, uh, tabs in the file in various file managers have always been an option. Now I do have to give Microsoft some credit because they are allegedly adding this feature to their file explorer very soon. But as you saw, them adding in ads to the file explorer is more important and it has more priority than making the file explorer actually good. So switch to Linux today unless you enjoy corporations looking through your files and serving you ads based on your activities. Like and comment, attack the algorithm, and have a great rest of your day.